We love him. Why do we love him? Because he's the one who created us. Yeah, he did. Because he <laughs> first loved oh. us. He loved us first. He loved us before we even were here. He knew when you were going to be born. He loved you from the beginning of time. We love him because he first loved us. Well, to me, it's kind of dark in here, so. That's what happens when you get old. I know it. <laughs> Lights are dimming fast. Uh huh. Um. Not gonna get anything out of it. <laughs> Your lights are dimming too, isn't it? Um. There is no, there is no light in the planet, but by that which person. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. There is no light in the planet, but that which proceedeth from the sun. And there is no true love to Jesus in the heart, but that which cometh from the Lord Jesus himself. From this overflowing fountain of the infinite love of God, all our love to God must spring. This must ever be a great and certain truth, that we love him for no other reason than because he first loved us. Our love to him is the fair offspring of his love to us. Cold admir ab admiration when studying the works of God anyone may have, but the warmth of love can only be kindled in the heart by God's Spirit. How great the wonder that such as we should ever have been brought to love Jesus at all. How marvelous that when we had rebelled against him, he should, by a display of such amazing love, seek to draw us back. No, never should we have had a grain of love towards God unless it had been sown in, sown in by the sweet seed of his love to us. Love, then, has... Love, then has for its parent the love of God shed abroad in the heart. But after it is thus divinely born, it must be divinely nourished. Love is an exotic. It is not a plant which will flourish naturally in human soil. It must be watered from above. Love to Jesus is, love to Jesus is a flower of a delicate nature. And if it receiveth no nourishment, but that which be drawn from the rock of our hearts, it would soon wither. As love uh, comes from heaven, so it must feed on heavenly bread. It cannot exist in the wilderness unless it be fed by manna from on high. Love must feed on love. The very soul of life and our love to God is his love to us. I'll try to read this part. I don't know if I can. I love thee, Lord, but with no love of mine, for I have none to give. I love thee, Lord, but all thy love is thine, for by thy love I live. I am as nothing and rejoice to be be emptied and lost and swallowed up in thee. How'd that go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, we love him because he first loved us. You know, I'm in that, in First John, and he talks about um, basically how can, if we uh, 
No, I'll just feed it. Let's do that. <clears throat> he goes on to say, if a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he has not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God loveth his brother also. Um, and just, uh, <coughs> we do see a lot of hate in the world, don't we? Um, you know, even see, <coughs> see a lot of hate in the world from people that claim to be God-fearing, God-loving Christians. You know, we are just, just to love God. We need to love God, and I know you guys do. Why? He loved us first. He loved, he loved us. us first. Yep, he loved us first. That's right. That's right. Um, it'd be hard to love somebody that doesn't love you, wouldn't it? I'm going to be... That'd be weird, wouldn't it? But, uh, if mommy or I or one of your brothers didn't love you, wouldn't it be kind of hard to love them back? Yes, it would. That would, wouldn't it? Yeah. I, yeah. Um, I want to interject here. Mm-hmm. I would to interject. Just hang on. But we would. We would still... Yes. When we don't show yeah. love or feel love from somebody, it doesn't mean our love changes, and that's how God is. Yeah. That even though we yeah. may not, people may not love Him, He still loves them. Yeah. Like the like He says right here. Oh, uh, might take me just a second to find it here. How marvelous uh, that when we had rebelled against Him, He should, by a display of such amazing love, seek to draw us back. So even though we may do things God doesn't like at all, He still loves us, and He's still tugging on our hearts to, to, get, to get right with Him. Not that's, the, that's just, that, that's the key right there is, not, you know, oftentimes we do fail. We fail miserably countless times a day. You said but we need to allow God, um, we need to allow ourselves um, <coughs> I guess, I guess, I don't want to add it, it doesn't matter how many times we fall down, what matters is we get back up and get back to God. Now that doesn't mean it's okay to do wrong things. To knowingly do wrong things, that's not right, is it? So we need to, you know, um, just, we just need to stay right with God. We need to keep loving God because He loves us first. Let's, let's work on loving God today with all we got. Father, we love and praise You today, Lord. God, we just thank You for Your goodness. Father, you know, thank You so much for loving us, God loving me so much for loving us first Lord just uh, just praise him and worship you and honor you today God and I pray Father that we would each of us would you know, love you with all we got today and that we would display that you know towards one another thank you Jesus Father we love and we praise you today in your name we pray Amen.